do I need to even introduce this car? I mean, round headlamps, three door, this form factor, a bit of Union Jack thrown in. I'm sure you've guessed it by now. It is the new Mini Cooper S. Now, every time a Mini Cooper is launched in India, it is always a bit special because, I mean, it's an SUV-driven market. Coupe SUVs, pseudo SUVs, crossovers. To have a nice, low, compact hot hatch, it's always refreshing. But this one is a bit more special and a bit bittersweet as well because this is going to be the last generation of the Mini Cooper to come with an internal combustion engine. The next generation onwards, it's all electric. So, we really have to savor this one. And what do we have to savor? Well, under the bonnet is a 2-litre turbo petrol engine making 204 horsepower and 300 Newton meters. 0 to 100, 6.6 seconds. But to be honest, with the Mini, the performance or the outright numbers were never really the main talking point. It was always about how it feels from behind the wheel. And that is what we're gonna find out. The rain gods are showing absolutely no mercy. But I think a front wheel drive hot hatch with over 200 horsepower on wet winding roads only adds to the excitement. <laughs> The power from the engine goes to the front wheels only via a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. And before we get to the gearbox, let me just talk on this engine for a bit because 2-litre, 4-cylinder, turbo petrol. Abroad, the Cooper also gets a 1.5-litre engine as an option. Thank God we don't have that here because this, <laughs> this is what a hot hatch needs. Power delivery is instant, none of that linear nonsense. You press on the accelerator and if you're not careful, there is a bit of torque steer as well. So you can't be losing concentration with this car. <laughs> Off the line responses are also very good. And especially when you have it in the most aggressive go-kart mode, which is also the only mode in which you get a rev counter. That's quite strange. But I don't think anyone's going to move out of go-kart, so it's all right in that sense it's such a nice feeling you know being low to the ground in something so compact and agile <laughs> and that raspy engine while it is nice and raspy sadly it's not the real deal it is synthesized sound because on the outside you don't really hear a lot of the engine in fact, there is actually a mode in there that says if you want enhanced sound on the inside. Which means this bubble, nice sporty exhaust is actually coming from the speakers. Harman Kardon speakers. But it's not the real engine sound. If you open the window, you'll hear a good amount of blow-off valve. That nice hissing sound. But nothing inside the cabin. What the Cooper S also misses out on is launch control. But that's alright. The bigger miss on my part is the control of the gearbox. There is no real button, switch, knob, nothing. You put it in D and that's about it. Of course, as you change the mode, the response changes. But you don't have a gear stock now, so you don't have the triptonic function. And the big one, you don't even get paddle shifters which means there really isn't much to do once your foot is half into the accelerator both hands grabbing this chunky steering all you have to do is just control it it's all accelerator brake and steering and that does leave a bit of a void because it would have been so much more engaging with a paddle shifter you want to have that manual control over the gearbox especially with a car like this and definitely on a wet day like this, I would have liked more control. That's a big miss. Then we get to the ride quality. Now it doesn't get adaptive suspension. So it's a fixed setup and it is set up 
perfectly for a mini it's nice and firm which on a road like this on a specifically hand pick road like this is very good but of course everywhere else in the country you are going to be quite bumpy inside even more if you choose the bigger 18 inch wheels because those get even lesser of a tire profile so that is going to be a compromise nothing however comes close to handling when you're in a cooper s the steering calibration which again the tune changes as you go through the modes but in go kart mode it is focused there's almost minimal dead zone it's pointy direct but not too sharp it's got the right amount of slack <laughs> and the body control is so good that stance with the wide hips at the rear it just squats down corners which would usually take at much lower speeds in other cars you can take with much higher speeds and with much more confidence in the mini my hand just inevitably goes towards the back of the steering wheel and i'm reminded that there are no paddle shifters a lot of that mini heritage has been maintained in the driving and of course in the looks and design as well wash my sheets but they still look dirty having the hardest time waking up early so much info my breathing at the bottom of the bottle it's easy to pretend there are very few cars in the world that hold on to their character especially when it comes to the design the mercedes benz g wagon you have the porsche 911 and of course the mini cooper an unmistakable design you just can't miss it or think it's something else you have the round headlamps up front of course it's been modernized now so you get led treatment led headlamps led drls and if you opt for the classic pack you also can change the design of the drls you've got the grill that's nice and wide open at the side you have the form factor a three door so it's nice and compact now wheels you have 17 inch wheels on this one and these are the parallel spoke design you can also have them in a u shaped design and if you opt for the favored pack which is 8 lakhs more you can get them in 18 inch as well wheel base never really a thing to talk about in a mini the shorter the better you want it nice and compact nice and agile and as we come over to the rear again you get the led treatment for the tail lamps and you can also have the drls in three different designs you can customize them on the menu inside overall the drama isn't that much because the exhaust tips are missing no exhaust makes it look like an ev but it's not going to lack in terms of attention especially in this sunny side yellow now while we are on the outside and while we are at the rear let's quickly check the boot space which is not great 210 liters of boot so you can't really do much but the rear seats can be folded down to expand the space even more you also don't get a spare wheel so that's going to be a bit of an issue you have run flat tires you have a tire puncture repair kit and you have my best wishes if you encounter something with the tires that is the mini cooper s on the outside let's quickly find out what the inside is like now like on the outside the interior of a mini cooper s is absolutely unique you just can't mistake it for anything else everything on here is i mean quirky would be an understatement the steering wheel let's start off with that nice and chunky two spoke you have a bit of a strap here as well this is purely aesthetics uh, the upholstery if you would look is not really leather you have a lot of renewable recycled materials so a lot of that has been used here sustainability is the key and the problem with this is dust is going to settle in very very easily in these small pores it looks really nice right now but in our weather conditions in our environment it's going to be a bit of a task to maintain it now i'm going to get to the main event in a bit but before that below that is a bit of a console you have your toggle switches right here and toggle meaning 
you have the engine start stop you have the drive mode select and of course the gear select buttons park obviously is a nice physical switch as well you have the volume control that is a physical switch basic defoggers your camera and your shortcut settings but everything apart from that is in this circular display it's an oled display now the frame is circular but the display has a bit of a flat bottom but that's all right it's extremely good in terms of resolution and again definitely quirky definitely a one-off and you'll only see this in a mini cooper and there's a lot that you can do with it because if you just open the menu honestly it does take some time to get used to it's not like your traditional screen where everything is where you'd expect it to be you have to do a fair amount of research on this one so you have your climate control settings you can change this dial you can have it in various themes as well right from go-kart to timeless some really iconic designs and you have the modern looks as well so a lot that has been crammed in here even getting access to the traction control requires you to dig into the settings and overall the whole experience is quite cumbersome you also get a camera in the cabin to take pictures to even record video and the quality is surprisingly good especially the audio quality because the mics are right here and you have a lot of light coming in from the sunroof as well so not really sure how much content you can make on it but it definitely is something that will get people talking now, while the screen is the main hero and all the features are crammed in there the overall cabin is nice and airy space management is really good so in the center you have plenty of space because you no longer have a gear shifter you have two big cup holders a massive wireless charging pad that i think can take tablets as well you have some rubberized space in the center to keep knickknacks that won't move about you have two type c ports you have a 12 volt socket a nice nifty armrest and the seats now these are manually adjustable for driver and passenger but if you opt for the favored pack which is 8 lakhs more you get electric seats for the driver and that's about it i mean it's a pretty compact cabin like on every mini and the back seat well obviously it's something that i always dread to be in because it's anyways a bad place but when you get into a mini which is a three door things are really compact in there now the back seat in a three door mini cooper s is never a space for adults but for reference i shall demonstrate pull the levers seat slides ahead now i measure over six feet so there's no way me or people my height are going to be back here but this is how it is now this seat is set in a reasonable position for the front passenger obviously my knees are absolutely grazing headroom is quite tight as well for short drives it's not too bad honestly but they have to be really short within the city type of drives two passengers at most back here you have individual seat belts individual headrests of course these windows don't go down you don't have air vents so it can get a bit stuffy sunroof will help slightly but that's pretty much it in a cooper s back seat absolutely not the driver's seat is where you want to be price at 44.9 lakh x showroom before you take on the packs there really is no direct rival to the cooper s right now the polo gti is long gone the octavia vrs still some time to come so it really is in a league of its own you'd imagine the mercedes amg a45 would be a natural competitor but that's double the hospa almost double the price as well so it really is a big niche and since this is the last generation to get an ice powertrain i'd recommend you wait a bit because while this car is very nice to drive and it has all the mini cues and you know it is a mini if you want the full blown full experience of a proper hot hatch of what mini is supposed to be then i have three letters for you j c w it's already being tested it's right around the corner it's going to have more power it's rumored to have a different gearbox as well a different engine tune different suspension setup and a different exhaust everything is going to be dialed up to the max and that is going to be the mini you want if you want something that's going to be there with you for long 
a future classic the last jcw the last ice powered mini is definitely something you should wait for it's not announced for india yet but the previous one made it the one before that made it so i have high hopes but if you want something quirky something that stands out there is no direct rival to a cooper s